Okay guys, so what you are seeing now is with the impact 19 inch ring light turn on and uh, if you something you'll probably notice right away is how much reflection I'm getting um, in my glasses so I think to be able to use the ring light properly it's probably best if you just take off your glasses and do a video without the glasses because the reflection is, is going to be very pronounced um, but since I'm only doing a demo I like to wear my glasses so I'll be, I'll be able to see anything or um, anything at all and um, yeah that's how it looks like and right now the camera is on manual mode it's 1 60th of the second with a f2.8 aperture and uh, it should be ISO 200 um, I'm using a Nikon lens with my Sony a6300 of course with an adapter so I'll be able to have a more better looking background if I'm using a kit lens the background is um, it's less blurred so um, just I wanted to have a little bit of a better of a depth of field effect for this video demo um, and I think the string light is really good for close-up work if you are standing like maybe even further away just a little bit more the light effect fades uh, fairly quickly so it's best to be I think standing or sitting in between like three to six foot range from the ring light source and of course it's always best to have your camera set up in between the ring light so it'll be able to capture a really nice um, I guess ring effect in your eyes if you're not wearing glasses and it might also be good for tabletop photography or videography if you're doing product reviews because it creates a really nice looking cast shadow um, on anything that um, in front of me on the table I'll do another video right after this so you guys can see how the effect looks with this ring light but overall, um, if you leave it on for more than 10 to 15 minutes, the ring light actually gets pretty hot. Um, I, was, I did have the diffuser on, but the diffuser got really hot, so I have to take it off. But I don't think it have much effect on, on, the, on the cast shadow. The, the shadow doesn't really change that much. It changes a little bit. Another thing to notice or to be careful about is when you're using a ring light, try not to sit too close to against the wall or backdrop because the ring light casts a not a pleasant shadow um, in your back. Um, it diffuses the it diffuses the surface, but the shadow it casts is not a good looking shadow. So make sure you're far away from any kind of wall or the background, and you should be good to go. And so next, I'm gonna demonstrate how how stuff looks on the ring light on the table so you'll get a good idea on how the ring light performs okay all right so here I actually have a few things on the table and this is with a ring light on top of them um, and you can see how the all the stuff looks under the ring light I can adjust the angle a little bit on the ring light so it look more even okay all right so that's how all the things looks like and uh, try to pick up some stuff and just do some quick review so it might be it might work really well for a product uh, photography or the tabletop uh, videography and uh, all the black stuff especially the metal objects the um, the ring light creates a really nice like uh, cast on the metal so everything looks really nice and plastic items um, they should work but just not as reflective as the metal stuff and of course if you have some paper paper the paper is gonna look like that as long as you don't have a glossy reflection, it should look really good. Okay, so of course, you can turn some pages just as a demo. And uh, camera lens, it's it also looks really good under the ring light. And if you pay close attention, there are some cast shadows over here. 
So, but it's not as distracting as one might thought. I think it it'll be more distracting if you're actually using a um, a lighter color, like a white background. Okay. So everything looks really good under the ring light. And here's a camera, my D750. And it looks pretty good. It makes all the stuff looks looks glowing. Especially if you notice the um, the rings in the uh, lens elements, like it casts a really nice looking ring. Same with the Sony lens. See the back. Like that. Okay. So yeah, I would say it should be really good for product photography as well. If you are into doing product reviews and um, everything else should look just as good. And you can see my skin tone. It's daylight balanced. Almost daylight balanced is 5,200K. Uh, uh, so it should be working really good. And that's about it. Um, if you guys have any questions about the ring light, Feel free to ask me in the comments section and I'll be happy to answer for you guys. Otherwise, uh, thank you so much for watching and uh, have a good rest of your day.